This is from the How Do You Spell Relief Department. As far as Atlantic Richfield is concerned, it's spelled M-O-N-E-Y. If you happen to own one of these little tools of American life, you might as well put it in your scrapbook. This is an Arco credit card, now consigned to the dustbin of history. The nation's seventh largest oil company has stopped accepting its own credit cards in the name of economy. Though about 30% of its sales were through credit cards, Arco said they needed relief from the high credit carrying cost. They say accepting only cash will mean about a three cent a gallon savings at the pump. Dealer reaction is mixed, since there's still a lot of people out there that are hooked on plastic. And as far as other oil companies are concerned, it's still all in the cards. Joyce, what kind of new model cards do you have for us this week? <laughs> well, I got a couple of aces from the New York car show and a fastback from Japan. Sure deal. Thank you. Okay, but first that new Japanese fastback. Apparently, the restyled Toyota Supra we showed you a couple of weeks ago is turning a few other manufacturers' heads. The latest Japanese car maker to get in the sports sedan act is Mitsubishi. Reliable sources are telling us that Mitsubishi is preparing their own version of the Supra. And we pass this information along to our Motor Week artist, who came up with this rendition of the proposed fastback, tentatively called the Celeste. It'll probably replace the Arrow, which is currently imported by Plymouth. The Celeste will most likely use a Mitsubishi silent shaft 2 liter or 2.6 liter engine. And we'll go out on a limb and predict that the Celeste will have an independent rear suspension and will make use of a lot of parts from the Japanese market Sapporo Challenger. Ha, no official release date yet, but the speculation centers on mid-83. And the Celeste could be sold through Plymouth dealers or Mitsubishi might decide to offer it through their own dealer network, which starts up in the fall of 82. Ha, and from that New York auto show we recently went to, we found a couple of styling teasers from Detroit. A lot of the talk concerned this car, the Chevrolet Cavalier convertible. It seems like everybody wants to get into convertibles these days. And anyway, it's your basic Cavalier gussied up with special metallic paint, and leather and cloth seats, power windows, and a Cavalier Type 10 sport front end, all untopped off with a power convertible roof. The Poobahs at GM first announced they had no plans to market this car, but the imminent arrival of the Mustang convertible made GM change its corporate mind. And that Cavalier is now scheduled for 1983 production. And also at the New York Auto Show, one of the worst kept secrets in auto history, the Chrysler Stealth. And this is a styling design that may contain hints about Chrysler's new sports car based on the K chassis. The Stealth features front wheel drive and a turbocharged 2.2 liter engine. The all steel body is supposedly the most aerodynamic Chrysler ever designed. And a lot of chassis parts are produced from exotic metal alloys and space technology plastic. Chrysler says this is still just a styling design, and the real production stealth may turn out to be different. Uh, we'll keep you posted on that one. Now, on the new tool front, 